Finally, Mi UI 10 Global Beta 9.4.12 is available for Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today in this video, I'm gonna show you how can you install Mi UI 10 Global Beta 9.4.12 on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. So, without wasting time, let's get started. So hello and welcome guys, welcome to Cracksway YouTube channel and you can see here I have installed Magic 3.7 ROM on my Redmi Note 5 Pro right now. And if you wanted to install this Magic 3.7 ROM on your Redmi Note 5 Pro then I have made a video on it. You can check the video will be in the description and can easily install this Magic 3.7 ROM on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. And one more thing guys, if you haven't subscribed to our Cracksuit YouTube channel, then make sure guys you subscribe to our Cracksuit YouTube channel and hit that notification bell also. Okay, now let's install MIUI 10 Global Beta 9.4.12 on our Redmi Note 5 Pro. For this, you need to download a ROM zip file of MIUI 10 Global Beta 9.4.12 of course and save on your phone. I will provide the link of this zip file in the description below so that you can easily download this zip file. And make sure guys you have installed custom recovery on your phone. And if you don't know how to install custom recovery, then I have made a separate video on it. You can check the video will be in the description and can easily install custom recovery on your phone. And then completely switch off your phone and then go to the custom recovery mode. As you know that to go to the custom recovery mode, you have to press power button and volume up button simultaneously. And then you will be redirected to the custom recovery mode. So this is TWRP recovery mode and first of all you have to press on the wipe button and click on advanced wipe button and then select Delphi, Catch, Data, System and Fender and then swipe and go back and click on the install button and search for the ROM zip file that you have downloaded and you can see here this is the downloaded ROM MIUI 10 global beta 9.4.12 so click on it and then swipe and the extraction process completed so click on wipe cache delphic button and then swipe and now click on reboot system and click on do not install and then your phone will reboot to system and this will take some little bit of time so i will skip this step so this is the boot setting and here you have to connect your mi account and input your gmail address connect your wi-fi to source basic things so i will skip this setup as well so finally we are in MI UI 10 global beta 9.4.12 ROM. So I will directly go to the settings section and show you guys its about device. You can see here on the MI UI version MI UI 10 global 9.4.12 beta and on the Android version Android 9 that means Android Pi here and the security pass level of 2019 April 5. Now I directly go back and show you some features in this ROM. I have installed some application here so first of all I will open manual camera and check either camera to API is enabled or not and you can see here camera to API is not enabled that means you can't install Google Pixel camera on your phone if you really wanted to install Google Pixel camera on your phone then I have made a separate video on it check the video will be in the description and can easily install Google Pixel camera on your phone and now let's see either phone is rooted or not I will use this root checker application to check either phone is rooted and you can see here unfortunately the phone is not rooted here. And now let's open its stock camera and check what features are available in the camera. And you can see here there is no any AI mode available right now and you can see here there is no any 4K video recording as well. So you can record your video up to 1080p at 60fps maximum only. And when you go to the display setting, you can see here there is dark mode option available there and dark mode option is working pretty fine here. And on the lock screen and password, you can see here there is fingerprint and face data is available. And on the notification and status bar setting, you can see here there are lots of options available there. And the interesting option is the battery indicator option. You can see here you can use the lots of option in the battery indicator as well. And on full screen display, you can see here there is full screen gestures option available there. And on the app lock setting, you can add your face unlock option also. So you can add your face data if you wanted to on the app lock also. And lots of people like this feature nowadays. I will add this face data later on. So I'm gonna cancel this right now. 
and now let's see the Antutu benchmark score and you can see here the Antutu benchmark score is very low and which is 109031 only and I'm really disappointed by this Antutu benchmark score okay now let's see on which graphic and on which frame rate we can play the game PUBG and you will be sad here again because you can play this PUBG game only on balanced mode and on medium frame rate And at last there is one new interesting feature added in this MIUI 10 global beta 9.4.12 ROM and that is when you charge your phone you will see a new interesting charging animation and I like this feature very much. So that's it all about the MIUI 10 global beta 9.4.12 ROM on our Redmi Note 5 Pro and I hope you like this video and if you like this video just let me know guys hit that like button and comment below if you have any kinds of queries problem or any kinds of suggestion and guys most importantly don't forget to subscribe to our crack suite youtube channel and hit that notification also so that's it for today guys hope you like this video and see you in my next video until then goodbye